Welcome to 7 Sports Extra. This is not just a loss for the CU family. This one hurts all of us. CSU even tweeted out condolences today. The Chicago Bears did the same. Everybody affected by the loss of Rashawn Salam. The 1994 Heisman Trophy winner at CU found dead in a Boulder Park last night at the age of 42, a suspected suicide. Buffs teammates like Broncos Director of Player Personnel Matt Russell remembered Rashawn on and off the field. He and I, uh, we had a lot of battles, a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of wars on the field, nine on seven. We used to go at it. Uh, I think we kind of kept tally throughout spring ball and in the fall of who won. And uh, I'm pretty sure I probably lost more than I won. But uh, singing the fight song in the back of the bus, singing the fight song on the plane, he always made up some stupid song on the plane on the way home about whoever it was we just beat. And, uh, but he was, a, he was a charismatic guy, big smile. Big personality, fun to be around, great leader, and uh, he'll be missed. He'll be missed by all of us. Well, a couple of years ago, Rashawn was the Grand Marshal of Homecoming, taking part in festivities at Folsom Field, smiling, seemed so happy, talking about the moment there on the field and what he was doing with life after football. It was big. It was a, a good opportunity for me to come back here and celebrate this 100 years with some of the best fans in America. Now, Rashawn, tell all of our Buff fans what you're up to nowadays. Well, right now, I started a foundation. It's called the Rashawn Salam SPIN Foundation. And SPIN is, stands for supporting people in need. And um, we're trying to convince, inspire young people to make the right decisions in life. Well, Sean had made some bad decisions. He had battled an addiction to marijuana, and he regretted how his NFL career ended. You can pay last respects tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Champion Center right there, open to the public. You can go in and view Rashawn's Heisman Trophy. Now to the Broncos. Off today, back to work tomorrow for the Titans. Broncos country expressing lots of concern about the play of Paxton Lynch in Jacksonville. He was the lowest-graded quarterback in the league on Sunday by Pro Football Focus. But chew on this. Peyton Manning's first three games, three losses, two touchdown passes, eight interceptions, passer rating 49.6. So patience with Paxton. The problem is, there's only four games to go. So there is no time to wait. Avs in Nashville tonight. Start of a four-game road trip. Steal by Rene Bork. To Nate the skate. And to the net. It was tied 1-1 in the first. Then in the second, 3-2 Predators power play. Jerome McGinley with the shot. Matt Duchesne the rebound. His second goal, tied 3-3. But it wouldn't end well. Five on three, Roman Yossi. Oh, the horror. Avs lose 4-3. to three. Jared Bender said this is the best they've played in a couple of weeks, but Matt Duchesne said there are no consolation prizes in the NHL. Avs still have the worst record in the league, guys. Yeah, we don't need to hear this was their best loss yet. Hey, there were some positives, so let's move on to the next game, build on it, and try to get a W. Hope springs eternal. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. All right. All right, we'll be right back.